What up YouTube, this is Ben here. We got James behind the camera today. He got a brand new toy. He got a Canon. What type of Canon is it, James? C70. It's a Canon C70. So this is the first time shooting with this camera. So we're gonna see how it looks and hopefully we can catch some fish while we're at it. All right, let's go. So we're gonna start out today throwing this wake bait. It's a jackal, I forgot the exact name, but it's a little, the sun already came out, so I don't know how successful we'll be, but we'll try it anyways. We can see little fish jumping already. Let's see if we get something to strike right now. Yep, little tiny fish. Oh, we're starting out with a walking bait, wake bait, just to cause a lot of commotion. Maybe the big fish will come and hit it. I'm only gonna cast this a couple times because the sun's already fully out. Yeah, I'm gonna just switch baits. Ready to go. Mm, there's a bunch of dead stuff here. Like I think there'll be fish here. And you just have to fish them out in like the, the day, in the middle of the day, so you could like see where they're at and just throw the bait right in front of their mouth. Damn, that thing is loud, huh? This is like a straight middle of darkness, like like dusk and then like night. Because all it is is a bunch of noise. Yeah, that's all it is. And they're gonna smack it because they're like, what the fuck is that? That thing comes in clutch, dude. The little back, uh, the little thing, the like holder, oh, the yeah. pistol grip. Dude, I'm telling you, I got a fucking hook in my ass and never again. So now I switched on to a little jerk bait just so we could locate some fish. What the, oh, it's, dude, he's fighting pretty strong. Oh, there's another one. Oh, dude, I'm gonna lose him. Oh, there you go. Oh, I lost him, I knew it. That was a big bass. Yeah, dude. I fucked up. I was letting him run while you got the camera ready, right? So, no, nah, it's, it's not your fault. It's my fault too. I should have just brought them in and, you know, like, oh, dude, we caught a fish. There's another one. They're all right, uh, right under here. And also, I didn't bring my net. I can't boat flip all these. There's one guy chilling right here. Let's see if I could pull him up. Nah, I don't think he's there anymore. And if he is, he's probably dummy scared. Yep, I'm throwing this little tiny bait. I don't know if you guys could see it. Pa pa. Who focuses? That was nice. Oh, yeah. That's a fish right there, but I don't think I can get to it. There you go. Ah, nope, popped off. Popped off the hook. Dude, that was sick. Mm. A fish jumped right where I threw it. I'm switching baits to a jerk bait. Had a smaller jerk bait tied on. Switch to the bigger one. Let's see if we can get something. You know where I might be able to get a fish? in between here. Oh, dude, it's muddy as hell, be careful. That's it. There we go, fish on. Oh, the little one. Oh, pobrecito. Oh, 
let this guy go. He suffered enough. Caught on the dual realis suspended jerk bait. So we could catch another one. Oh, I got a bird's nest. Look at that. First bird's nest of the day. Little ones that's simple to take out. Oh shit, that's a big one. <laughs> We had to keep moving. I feel like as soon as you catch a fish and then you don't catch one like right after, I feel like you probably spook them. You get me? Yeah. Because obviously like there's not that many fish here and they, everybody's been caught at least once. So they know. Let's try a couple casts right here. So let me tell you guys about the time that James pooped in the school bus. Oh, that was a great cast. Let's see if I can get something to strike it. All of us, James, Ovi, Anthony, myself, we're all pretty new to fishing. We really got into it during the pandemic. We've been fishing for years, but never, never any actual lure fishing. We just will go to the beach, to a pier, just get some shrimp and just cast out and hang out and during uh, the whole pandemic that's when we got into like lure fishing and ever since then we stopped oh there we go fish on because it's so much more action Get pliers to get this bad boy out. Oh, no, he got too tore up. I hate when that happens. It's not like jerk baits are fun because you get like hit hard, but sometimes you damage the fish. And that's the part I don't like because we're just destroying the population. The more fish anglers mess up, the more likely we are to have less fish in the future especially like the la ponds they don't normally get stocked almost at all so it's good to have good fish etiquette if you catch a fish and you don't intend to eat it yourself don't think like oh you know i'm gonna take it and give it away to somebody you know unless you're gonna eat it yourself harvest it yourself try not to take them just because out here they don't really they don't, they don't really stock the ponds so if they don't stock the likelihood of you Having more fish in the future, it's lower and lower. And one thing about fishing is you can never fall in love with a spot. You have to keep moving. So here we have some of my big baits. I'm gonna see if we could get a, saw some fish popping, so I'm gonna throw this buzz bait. And I never thrown a buzz bait with the frog, but I saw this and I decided to buy it. Buzz baits are good for covering water, especially in this type of ponds that there's no real structure, no real mats or anything like that. So the fish are just hanging out everywhere. It's kind of hard to pinpoint, you know, you hit up whatever structure there is, but to locate the big ones, is kind of hard. So I like throwing big top water baits just to try to see if we could catch something. This thing is so stupid when you cast it. Did you hear it that time? Yeah, you can hear it. It's like a big ass boom. Dude, there's a bunch of fish over there, dude. A couple fish. I would like to fish the waterfall. There's a little drop off right in front of the waterfall where this fish would like to hang out. You guys might be wondering why I'm actually twitching my rod up while I'm casting is out there, though it's real shallow. So this provides me some depth control with my lure. Because if I fish it straight down, I'm just gonna get snagged on the bottom just because it's probably four feet. So just remember that you guys don't always just have to twitch 
jerk bait straight down. If you want to fish with a jerk bait in a shallow area, you could just point your rod tip up and it won't dive as deep. So far, no action under the waterfall. Go to the top of the waterfall right now. This water over here is pretty shallow too. So I'm gonna try to fish with my tip up. So far, nothing over here. We thought we were gonna be able to catch a little bit more fish. Went a little bit slower than we thought. The biggest fish of the day popped, popped the hook right when I was about to boat flip him. But it is what it is. Switch baits? I think I'm gonna switch baits. Oh, this one. This one's a little bit heavier, so it'll be easier to throw. So for all my lures, I don't really care about the knot. I just tell you the most easiest knot for me, which is the uni. I don't know about strength, this, that, or the other, but if you know how to work your, your drag correctly, the knot doesn't have to, it's not as impactful. Whenever this happens to you, you guys see all those curlies in the line, always retie. That means that the line got burnt when you're retiding it. All right, so we walked a little bit down. There's a little cut right here. It's real grimy. At least it's not too muddy. So this is where the fish are jumping. We could get a little bit of a good angle here. Let's see if we could get some fish to commit. So I lost a little bit of faith on this wake bait. It hasn't been too long, but I haven't heard any fish pop. In a little bit. So I'm swapping out. Kenneth Han is pretty good. It's a good little lake. He has some time to come fish it, but definitely we don't know what we're doing here. We only came here maybe three times at the most. So the likelihood of us catching a fish is just gonna increase the more and more we fish here. But for right now, we caught, hooked up to four fish, lost one or hooked up onto three fish and lost one. That's just in too bad of an outing. Wish it was better, but oh well. It is, it is what it is. There's a little fish pecking at the entire way, but he's too little to like stick on. So it just feels like ding, 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 ding. There you go. Oh, he's too little. <sighs> I pulled off the hook out of his mouth. We've been here for about two hours or so. It's been pretty tough. But what can you do? Just keep trying. So pretty much this is the last cast. I came out here with James this morning. We're at Kenneth Hahn Park. There's a little lake over here, a little pond actually. And earlier it was a little bit better, but we didn't do so well today. Well, the primary point was to test out the new camera James got, just to shoot an ultra crispy 4K. Oh well, yeah. All right, so we're done for the day. Putting my stuff away. Too bad we couldn't catch more fish, but at least James got some really good B-roll with his brand new camera. So. Even though we didn't catch that many fish, at least the video is gonna look extra crispy. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow us for more fishing videos and comment down below if you guys want us to fish a particular lake or spot or try some lures or you know do some tackle review. Just whatever you guys want us to do, just put it down in the comments and yeah, see you guys next time. Peace. Catch something already. I'm trying. James is already fed up with filming, but who told him not to bring his rods? Angry ad. But yeah.